thank you thank you students this is critically important that you understand it so just once again coming back to the idea so if you see students uh, the food delivery service the generic idea is transport we move the food only we are not producing the food and federal express dhl korea intermediaries were there but these people are food service and actually if you see they are support service they are not a major service involved so restaurant consumers restaurant consumers now if you observe very clearly and see the restaurant chain in 1990 in west area they had their home delivery service that was the starting point but the only problem was they were dedicated services and what happened was currently what has happened is the snack wheel munch bite and the truck bites have emerged but the high level of business risk is the nature any time these people can get eliminated from the market unless and otherwise they make the market dependent on them they make the market dependent on them so students i believe this is very clear at the moment so can i ask you one question students uh, how to make how to make the market dependent on this service how to make the market dependent on this service and someone it's a very good case study question how can you make the market dependent on this service jay ganesh are you understanding what i am asking question because yep. you you see every business will survive until the market is dependent on them correct no jay now yes, nokia dependency on the market was less so people shift to android and ios correct we experienced that similarly students you see the reality how to make the market dependent on the service now see netflix is making people dependent on them correct no jay netflix yes, is sir. making them with efficient supply chain management so i'll write down that it's a good point efficient supply chain management efficient supply chain management now if you see that's a great point now ola versus uber now if you see jay ola is more successful in india compared with uber practically speaking correct the main reason was they made the supply chain very strong similarly that goes with sri lanka as well students in sri lanka also uh, pikmi is more successful than uh, i can say uber so i believe abira chola clear with that so just get that understanding even really. advertisement plays an important role no sir advertisement Because... plays an important role yes but advertisements are like pain killers j because advertisement can only give a short term sustainability correct no jay if i am not mistaken because yes, you and see many organization like micromax all failed in the market because they were only relied on the advertisement you understand what i am saying there yes sir. because you need to be very very careful as well so providing user friendly platform to order that was a great point so i'll write down here consumer convenience don't use user friendly anymore consumer convenience is the correct point correct no j at the end of the day consumer convenience and quality assured consumer service uh, i cannot say that i can go with the consumer convenience once again uh, because that makes lot of sense at the moment because there was a article in the precinct material if you have read that there was a problem in selection of a pizza delivery you need to scroll down and they have clearly mentioned that it's very much difficult to change that option correct so can i say one more thing jay uh, to be successful in tech sector flexibility is very important uh, what do you think students please on more the flexibility more the survival because students you see this uber pool everything came flexible service so efficient supply chain consumer convenience flexibility as well and the other thing is i can write down here diversified 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 i can write down here diversified restaurants diversified restaurants because one major weakness of this i'll come to that we will do that as well one major weakness i always see here uh, jay is we are only focusing on the fast food, fast food. correct yeah. 
And now, if you generally see Uber Eats, you just go and see they have diversity. Example, healthy foods are there. You get what I'm saying. They have the snacks items. So many things are there. But diversity plays a major role once again in this aspect. Very much important as well. And the other thing, what I can generally say, automations. Students, uh, does automation plays a major role? Because you see, uh, think about a city like Bangalore, a very, very much, I can say, traffic-oriented city, highly, highly congested city. Uh, people prefer automation. What do you think, Jay, at the end of the day? Because uh, if your app can automate the food, what you need for a week, and it can supply you on a schedule. We can use... Sir, in India, uh, currently, like, uh, Zomato has taken, like, 10-minute uh, ten, ten service. It, it's been like last month, uh, two or three weeks before it has announced that one. Like we can, they can use uh, consumers' data and uh, based on the consumers' order, they can just uh, they can just do the predictive analysis. So, yeah, use so, use the help of uh, this one, sir. Like uh, Ghost Kitchen, and they can just uh, survey in the market. Understood. So coming into the automation now, it's very important because automation plays a major role once again in this aspect as well. So students, now what I want you as a finance manager, you need to always be very much commercial and sustainable oriented. Now as a finance manager, you need to ask one basic question. How can the market be dependent on me? You get what I'm saying. Dependent on the company. Dependent on the company. Because when the market doesn't feel that you need a service like this, automatically that company will end up into a system where it will not survive. Example, Kodak. Now, are people dependent on film roll cameras? No, right? They are not dependent because already it has a substitution, digital, which is even better, clearer, adjustable as well. So students, are you understanding how this works? So this is very, very important. So can I quickly get a why in the chat box, students? if you get this understanding properly, students, because this is very, 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 very important, students, because just keep in mind, it is very much important. The consumer data only, I said automation. Automation is generally goes with the consumer data. So I'll write down here, because the, the root for automation is data, because without data, you can't do automation. So historical data, predictive analysis. So students, now I will come into the business ecosystem that you need to learn. But always remember one thing, students, the golden idea here is we are a support service. We are a support service. So we are in between these two intermediaries. So get that point of view very, very well. So coming down, students, I will just come down. Uh, can I, I'll just come down. So business ecosystem. So in the business ecosystem, I just want to do a small theory introduction so that it will be very clear for you. Now you have something called the complexity, complexity industry, complexity industry. Complexity industry means the government, actually students, the government rules and regulations are high, are high and more compliance. Compliance means rules and regulations. So example, I can generally say of a complexity industry is healthcare. Now, if you generally see, Jay, it's very difficult to start a hospital where you can do an open heart surgery, correct? Because the healthcare requirements are very, very high. Are you clear with that, Jay? Now, yes, coming to the next one is less complex. So less complex industry is uh, like, if you generally observe, it's a tea stall or a restaurant, a basic restaurant, I don't think uh, you need to take a lot of, I can say, government uh, involvement. So that is less complex sectors. And the other thing that in the business ecosystem we consider is something called as the orchestration. Students get the understanding orchestration. Now, orchestration is like in the musical arena when the music director is orchestrating, the musicians also work according to the pattern he does it. So orchestration is the formal and informal, the formal and informal connection between, between the, the business participants. 
the business participants the business participants example example pepsi and coke now if you see pepsi and coke the orchestration is very high because what happened is uh, they will compete but they won't let a third party come into the picture are you understanding what i'm saying there ajay because that is orchestration how much you are connected in economics we say this as a cartel also they jointly form an arrangement so students now coming into a matrix type of structure i'll just guide you how it works out so let's do the ecosystem analysis first so if you see highly complex very difficult and highly orchestrated even the the market participants are very much close to each other in this the business cycle is very long so we say it as a lion sprite now example of this is like the aeroplane manufacturing like if you see a company like boeing and airbus now these two are only the major players in this sector even you see the weapon manufacturing armory all are very much complex and the orchestration is very very high so this is a lion sprite sector so the price is controlled by the producers and also everyone can't enter the business so the threat of new entry is very very less very very less and the next one is if you observe uh, we say the low and low so it's not at all complex and people are not united as well so we say this as shark tank shark tank now students example of a shark tank is like agriculture now you see j agriculture farming farmers are not united and government is also not so complex so there is no price competition they actually end up losing because of excess competition and purely they are not having a interrelationship with anyone and the other one is the complexity is low but the orchestration is very high this we say this as a wolf gang wolf gang sector like example i can generally say is the pepsi and coke they may compete with each other but at the end of the day they are very strong and the other one is telecommunication you see the telecommunication sector all will be working as a rival but they are very much closely connected they won't compete on price basis or anything because they have a price control the petroleum sector as well goes with the wolf gang sector only and coming to the high complexity and low orchestration this we say this as a hornet nest these are the technical terms example of this is like i can say a university now if you see a university harvard university is not bothered about mg university because harvard is having high complex even mg is having high complex but they don't connect with each other effectively so students these are the major structure of an industry and lions pride is an industry where it's a blue industry very clean the ocean is very very clean but if you see the shark tank is a bleeding industry it is red color it's a red it's always bleeding it's always bleeding and the wolf gang industry is always a gray it's a gray color very much great very much informal but somewhat they manage it and hornet nest is somewhere around green color i can generally say because they will survive uh, depending on the differentiation they have now coming into our business of food delivery uh, students you can do an analysis and tell me based on your personal reading where does our organization fall that is my question you can tell the answers please i am waiting for your response ajay ganesh where do you think our organization falls i feel wolf gang sir wolf gang no 
any other people who like to say anything, you can tell. Yes, Nelly? I think Shark Tank because um, it's easy to enter the market. Okay, but actually, if you are speaking compared with uh, Jay Ganesh, if you have done the ratio analysis, you would have understood it's a wolf cat. Because you see all the prices on ratios are really, really close to each other. So it's going with the wolf gang. So can I write down the names of the wolf? Uh, one wolf is the snack, uh, snack wheel. Then what is the other wolf? The other wolf is what? Munch bike, correct? Other wolf is the munch bike. And the next one is the truck bites. So these are the wolf gang. Because I generally feel it's an act-based sector as well. So they are closely working together without directly competing with each other. But they are rivals, but they are very, very connected in that point of view. So there are opportunities. Like Nelly was saying, anyone can come into the business. That is true. But the thing is, this industry is very much connected informally. Because when, when there are no complexity, if you want to survive in a business for a longer term, it's always better to go with the wolf gang methodology. Now, uh, one more thing I just want to ask, the restaurant chains. Now, if you observe students, we have uh, around, I can say, four or five restaurant chain we had, actually. So uh, students now coming into the restaurant chain students. So I think we have uh, the following restaurant chain, if I am not mistaken. So Jay Ganesh, what do you think? Where does the restaurant chain fall? Where does the restaurant chain fall? Sir, even in uh, uh, when we see with, in our business, everything is interrelated, sir. Like restaurant chain also depends on our business and even customers. No, so restaurant chain is not dependent on our business. Our business created that dependency. Okay. Get that point of view very well because. Restaurant chain has always the power. You understand what I'm saying. Because already three people are there in the market. So they can switch to anyone. Are you understanding what I'm saying, Jay? Or they can start their own one as well. Yes, they already have. They have also. So students, can someone tell me the restaurant chain, where do you think they are falling at the moment? Where do you think they are falling? That is my question. Any, any guesses, you can tell me. So I'm getting the answers as well. Uh, Lion's Pride wrong. They are not Lion's Pride. Because anyone can easily start a restaurant. There is not an issue with that as well. Uh, Shark Tank also, no, if I am not mistaken. Hornet's Nest. Uh, Hornet's Nest is, uh, yes. The correct answer is Hornet's Nest. I'll tell you why it's a Hornet's Nest. Uh, because uh, I'll guide you and show you. So observe it very carefully, we are a developed country. That is the first thing. So in a developed country, at least basic, uh, I can say uh, guidance must be followed. So if you see Taste Burger, there is one organization, if I'm not mistaken. Then we have another one that is the Steam Pizza. Okay, Steam Pizza is another one. And then we have the Bajito, if I'm not mistaken, Bajito. And then we have the Lusk chicken, if I'm not mistaken. And then we have the Boonigans, if I'm not mistaken. Remember these names, students. These are very important. So their orchestration is low. I'll tell you why. Because Jay, Taste Burger is specifically specialist in the burger. You understand what I'm saying? So they're not bothered about the pizza business. Are you clear with what I'm saying there, Jay? Yes, sir. And Bajito is different, and Lus Chicken is different, Bonigan is different. Now, KFC is not bothered about what is done at Pizza Hut. Correct? No. KFC is never bothered about what's happening in Pizza Hut. They are always bothered about someone like, I can say, um, uh, chicken, uh, chicken like that. So the connection goes like this at the moment. The connection goes like this at the moment for your understanding point of view. Get this point of view very clearly. The connection goes in this aspect currently. But 
there can be a situation there can be a situation all can join together and come to a wolf gang is there is a possibility high chances of a possibility are you understanding uh, what i am saying there ajay because if you look yes, at the indian restaurant industry you have so many restaurants as well but they don't have proper orchestration but you see this uh, uh, zomato food panda uber eats all have a proper understanding and can you have you seen sometimes when you will get an uber eats delivery packed in zomato by any chance have you observed that uh, jay sometimes they would have packed with the zomato label by chance so that's a clerical example of an orchestration so students get this understanding very very clearly this is how it works out and i want to say one more thing students uh, there is a situation of smes small medium enterprises in the food industry uh, which are in the shark tank example j uh, i can say small snack shops what do you think j yes sir snack shops like uh, donuts uh, or sweets or something so what happens is there can be a market development as well where these guys can go into this as well. they can go and explore this as well there are chances there are chances as well they can go and explore this as well and also students you have seen i don't know whether it happened now during the pandemic what happened this food delivery apps also Uh, started delivering pharmaceutical products you get what i'm saying jay they started delivering the pharmaceutical products as well so there are high chances that there can be an, a related diversification as well example pharmaceutical items can be delivered also through the food delivery service are you understanding what i'm saying there jay yes sir in case in case if they want so so students uh, now one thing uh, a weakness is uh, if you generally see our it system has a bigger weakness what is that weakness is our it system will generally provide a dedicated platform for one organization so currently we have five only so when we go to the sme it's very difficult for us to adjust our system are you clear with that jay yes sir So, students, uh, before moving forward, any questions you have on the business ecosystems, you can ask me. If this is fine for you, students, can I quickly get a double Y in the chat box, students? If this is fine, can I quickly get a double Y in the chat box? Any questions you have, please do let me know. I will be able to guide you as well. But please try to make sure you understand the application. We are a support service. We are a support service. Now, C J. when you read the precinct they are generally focusing on the data it cyber risk but no one ever felt that we are a support service you get what i'm saying jay yes sir correct the food industry may have strict uh, regulations that's what i have put here high complexity might be there but for a small medium enterprise the complexity will be less uh, because there are small medium organizations also operating as well so that is a different point okay now students uh, let's move on to the strategic analysis that is the swot analysis so let's do the discussion part as well and get the understanding of how it works out so let's work on the swot analysis first so swot analysis j let's be very much into a higher level type of swot analysis example j what i can specifically say is we can uh, strategize ourselves in the top management you understand what i am saying jay. now i will write down everything now if you see j uh, uh, quoted company that's that's again a strength but uh, when coming into the ideology of a top management that's a strength but uh, not a uh, not a sustainable strength you get the point what i am saying jay. yes sir so uh, one of the strength that we have is it system do you agree with me jay yes sir because yes, sir. our major success is the it system and other thing is i can say the process of business process of business and i can specifically mention as automation 
because you see i i will just show you this picture anyway i will do the recordings and give it to you on the pre scene but one thing students just want to make sure you need to observe this page i'll show this page because this page is little important for you to understand how the operations take place do you see here jay the mm. customer smartphone he places the order it yes, goes sir. to the restaurant tablet so this process is the main i can say one of their strength they have and also if you see the data center uh, they already have i can say a hot uh, what is the name back, they back, have back back out back back or a hot uh, backup hot, uh, hot backup office right they have a, a hot backup office as well the meaning is students in case if there is a fire or something that happens automatically the hot backup office will take care of this students hot backup recovery site so hot backup recovery site will generally take care of this students so just remember that it is uh, again uh, one of their major strength is that and another thing is data belongs to uh, snackwheel are you clear with that jay because it was clearly mentioned on the risk analysis like how you are going to prevent the restaurant chain operating their own uh, store or own online platform is uh, data belongs to snack chain uh, a snack wheel are you clear with what i'm saying here yeah. because here the data comes into the page picture because there are so many precinct plus papers where data is coming as an ethical issue as well correct me if i'm wrong ajay yes all so can i write down here students ethical issues can come into the picture uh, because students uh, if you see whenever you are uh, taking or downloading an application it will ask you some questions can you remember students it will ask you a basic question do you want to give the access of camera uh, gallery all those question it will ask so what happens is there are some ethical issues on the data transparency as well so students it system process of business automation hot backup recovery site data belongs to the snack wheel and another thing is uh, another strength i can specifically say is a uh, network network networks with major restaurant chains with major restaurant chain uh, do you agree with me jay yes or no because uh, if you see considering the country wise they have the network with the major food consumable apps are you clear there because that's very very important when you are doing the application of this so before moving forward students any any other questions you have you can ask me and another thing is they have 3000 uh, full time uh, full time couriers because they have 3000 full time couriers and the part time couriers is how much 23000 part time part time couriers as well they have that also so effectively that clearly mention how these things are generally working are you are you clear with that jay is it fine because these are like the basic understanding and application of how the things generally works out how the things generally works out because you need to get this understanding very much towards your business application because it's very much important when you are doing the ideology of the application as well so students uh, before moving forward any questions on this you can ask me but if you are fine with that you can please put y in the chat box now uh, one thing j i just want to ask you a question now if you see we have 3000 full time couriers correct at the moment we have 3000 full time couriers and uh, 23000 part time couriers so to totally we have uh, 26000 effectively as a workforce so my question is j you know if you generally see you now uh, if is it taste burger has how many branches by any chance can you recall j taste burger has how many branches anyone in the class can you just think about how many branches this taste burger has in total around the country 4400 branches 4400 branches students 4400 branches they have and uh, if you see how many employees we have j at the moment full time we have only uh, 
So I don't think that will be uh, like sufficient enough. But still, Jay. But still, Jay. Uh, let's do the full count and see. So how many branches does uh, Steam Pizza has? Two thousand four hundred. So altogether 6,800. Uh, Bajito has how many branch? 3,200. 3,200. So that will effectively come to 10,000. Uh, Lusk Chicken has how many branch? 2,600. So 12,600. So yeah, Bonigan has how many shops? 3,400. So effectively that will come to 16,000. So effectively, we have 16,000 outlets to be covered uh, in a single time, correct? If you see, and we have 26,000 uh, effectively employees, considering the full-time people out. So I can say, considering the current portfolio, we have, we have, we have the workforce. What do you think, Jay? Yes, or no? sir. Correct, no? So students, can I write down one more point? The workforce, the workforce is uh, available for the demand, for the demand. But one thing students, 23 part-time uh, couriers, there is a risk because these people do not have any contract. So they can also work to a competitive organization as well, right, Jay? Yes, yeah, or no? they are and freelancers. Demand. They are freelancers. They can also work for any competition organization as well. So just keep that as an understanding because that's very much important for you students. Now, now students, uh, one more thing. Uh, we have another strength is uh, like 23 dark kitchen, correct? We have 23 dark kitchen at the moment. So that itself is one strength. Uh, so can I ask you one question, Jerry? Uh, I asked a question relating like how we can make the business dependent on our service. Can I put dark kitchen? Can dark kitchen increase the dependency? Possible or not possible? Jay? Yes, yes sir. Because dark kitchen can include the possibility students. And dark kitchen, please remember students, it's a good ideology. So it can be tested in an aspect of business valuation as well on dark kitchen. So 23 dark kitchen we have uh, facilities we have at the moment that is a good understanding at the moment so the next thing is uh, just i did the ratio calculation anyway i will do the calculation on the friday class with you all but uh, one thing jay lower gearing ratio uh, did you check that jay? lower gearing ratio anyone in the class calculated gearing on debt divided by debt plus equity, not debt over equity, debt plus equity, lower gearing ratio. Did anyone was able to calculate the gearing ratio? I'm waiting for your response. Was anyone able to calculate the gearing ratio? Just asking students. Jay, did you calculate the gearing ratio? No, sir, I didn't uh, do ratio analysis. Uh, Okay, anyone in the class uh, calculated the gearing? Yamini, did you calculate the gearing ratio by any chance? Mr. Rikas, by any chance were you able to calculate the gearing ratio? Hi, sir, I did. I, I'm just, uh, give me a second. I'll just look it up and let you know, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay, students, uh, one thing, be very specific with both numbers and the business as well. Those numbers and the business is important and strategic case study may look easy, but uh, it's very much, I can say, strategy, strategy oriented. So the gearing ratio I calculated, it's coming at a rate of 13.38 um, for our organization. 13, it's a team, team figure. So lower gearing ratio is a strength. You understand what I'm saying there, Jay? Because... Currently, this organization has a very lower gearing ratio. Are you understanding what I'm saying there? And another point of view is working capital management is efficient. Working capital management is efficient. Because uh, one thing, students, uh, can you tell me why working capital management is efficient? Can someone tell me why working capital management is efficient? I'm waiting for your response. Why do you think the working capital management is efficient? Uh, Jay, anything that you are able to think of? 
Kavya, your voice is not audible. Uh, sir, we don't have any uh, credit payments here. No, that's wrong. Because if you see why our working capital is efficient is we don't have inventories. Now, if you generally yeah, see yes, the working sorry. capital goes with the inventory receivables and the payables. Now, in this case, you see carefully, we don't have any inventory. So that is the strategy I can generally say that we have. So I'll write down here, uh, no inventory, no inventory at the moment, no inventory at the moment. Now, Jay, I have a question. Now, if you have dark kitchen, the inventories will be brought in by the restaurant chain only. So you're only giving the location only at the moment. And that location can be rented out as well. So no inventory at the moment. So that clearly shows that we are efficient in the working capital management. That's a good thing of this business cycle because we do not have the accountability to keep, I can say, inventories with us. The other thing I can just write down here, like quoted enterprise, because it's a very strong quoted enterprise. Everyone is very much aware about. And then I can generally write down after quoted enterprise, first move advantage, correct? Because we were like the first uh, organization to get this. And Jay, can you remember uh, the data they gave, uh, like how many percent of the population uh, generally shift to another uh, food delivery app? Can anyone think about that? They gave a small statistics of the percentage of consumers who will be shifting to another one. Because generally, the consumers are loyal, but there is a tendency that the consumers can shift to another one. Can someone think about it, students? It was given. Jay, what did you see that anything about the consumer loyalty? Oh, sir, I don't remember. Anyone in the class, students, consumer loyalty? Because that's very important, students, very important. Actually, 20% of the people only will uh, shift to uh, another one. So students, uh, just keep in mind, students, only 20% of the people will shift. So currently, we have that leverages as well. So that clearly, clearly shows that the loyalty level is very high. But loyalty is more into convenience. You understand what I'm saying here, Jay? Because loyalty is built up based on some factors, but here the loyalty always goes with the convenience and the cybersecurity risk also. So students, uh, can I quickly get a why in the chat box if you are getting the clarity uh, behind the students? Because the clarity is uh, very much important. So these are the basic points that I was able to think about. So I'm just asking from the classroom, if you have any suggestions, you can let me know. But this is very much essential for your understanding, students. Very much essential for your understanding. And I'll write down here, students, uh, business values. Because they have good business values. Example, like uh, they, they work as a team. They make the life simple. Customers come first. We make things happen, take care of employees, create opportunities. So business values is one of the major factor. Because whenever there is a merger and acquisition, you need to always make sure that the business values are connected to the business. Jay, are you clear? Yes, sir. Uh, thank you. Other students, any questions you have, you can ask me. If you are okay with all these things, can I quickly get a why in the chat box, students? Because we are doing a very detailed analysis and uh, I feel that you need to read the preceding material very slowly and come back to the business very, very well. Remember the idea, we are a support service. We are a support service. That is critically important. Now, students coming to weakness. Uh, students, what do you think is our major weakness at the moment? Can, can someone think about it? What do you think is our major weakness at the moment? Major weakness at the moment. Uh, in the news story, there was an article. Uh, they were clearly stating that the consumers asked uh, them, uh, we need to scroll down in order to find our favorite food. So they clearly responded that uh, we generally 
place the order based on the restaurants who pay us the highest money. Highest price. It's yes, sir. Highest price. Highest price. So, do you think, Jay, is that's a good practice? I don't say no, but they can also have something called a favorite menu. What do you think, Jay? Yes, sir. Now, example. Uh, you generally see in this food delivery app, they generally give the highest payment food delivery first. But still, there is something called favorite uh, history, or you can also say what you ordered previously. You understand what I'm saying, Jay? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. So one weakness I can generally say, the menu list, the menu list is generally based on restaurants. Bid pay, who pays the highest bid pay, not the consumers, not the consumers. Is that a weakness, students? Yes or no? Because these are very sensitive industries. Because what happens is when you are not with the consumers, ultimately someone else will take them. Correct, no Jay? What happened to Paytm? Because you can remember Paytm case study, right? Paytm was doing extremely well during the demonetization time. Once they started that KYC program, everything yeah. went out. No, you understand yes, what I'm saying. So yes, that, these are something you all experienced in your life. Okay, you all experienced in your life because you, you can't expect a working professional to get the KYC on a working day. It's very hard. So that, that basic convenience can always cause a bigger issue to the organization. Can I quickly get a why in the chat box, students, if you are clear with this point of view? Because this is a very, very, I can say, a very, very important point. And the way they have addressed is also not the suitable way. That's not the right way to address it as well. So that is one point of view. Then the other one, students, just want to make sure uh, that is uh, not having location coverages for certain region for certain region are you understanding what i'm saying because jay there can be situation that you may not have the location coverage for certain region so sometimes consumers may want a dish but unfortunately the location coverage will not be there but there are always solutions for that you can always have example a backup uh, location or something like that you understood the point right jay that was one of the main weakness they had are you clear with that jay yes sir and the next weakness that at the moment that we are generally facing is lack of investments lack of investments in uh, research and development uh, did they mention anything about research and development, Jay, at the moment? Did they mention anything related to the R&D in the pre seed material? No. No, right? So students, uh, technological industry always research and development plays a major role. And these guys are not spending much time on research and development. So that itself clearly shows there needs to be some improvements to be made. So that is a clear point of view, students, for your understanding. So the next point of view, students, of the weakness, what we have to consider at the moment here is um, we are dependent on that uh, third party software. Third party, excellent. Dependent on the third party software. Dependent on the third party software because that is one more major thing. Because we are dependent on third party software as well, students, because that's a high uh, risk. Because they can also give that ideology to any of our, I can say, competitors as well. This is how it works out. Uh, because, Jay, uh, if you see the Ola software is third party, because uh, mostly Ola software is common. You understand what I'm saying, Jay. But Uber software is their own. It's their own. So Uber has little much strong competition at that moment in that way as well. So that is uh, one more thing that we need to keep in mind very, very well on the weakness aspect as well. And uh, lack of lack of international lack of international expansion. Uh, do you observe that, Jay? Because yes, we are only in the West area, we have moved into the global market as well. 
although we are a listed organization at the moment, so that clearly says that lack of uh, international expansion as well. That is one more thing. And one thing is only dependent on, only dependent on, only dependent on fast food, only dependent on fast food sector, only dependent on fast food sector. So this is one major problem that we have because now if you see, Jay, that is something called the keto meals, okay? So keto meals, everything is generally doing very, very well in the market, the green OJ at the end of the day. So this is one more major reason that this organization is not performing properly. Are you clear with that, Jay? Is that fine? Yes, sir. Uh, students, can I quickly get a Y in the chat box if these explanations are clear for you at the moment, students? Can I quickly get a Y in the chat box? Because there are so many things that we can analyze and do, but get this point of view very, very well because these are very critical aspects of this organization as much as possible. In this. So we have only uh, 12,000 uh, restaurants only we are having contact with. Like, there are 55,000 uh, fast food centers in uh, West area. So this is also a... Uh, 12,000 outlets only covered. Yeah. Only covered out of 55,000, 55, right? Yes. 55,000. That's a wonderful point as well. So that clearly, clearly shows how the business works at the moment. But I'm very much scared about the first one, Jay, because uh, you can't do it to the consumers. What do you think, Jay? Practically speaking, I don't think so, right? Because yeah, something wrong happens in the tech sector is very difficult, students. Tech sector, anyone can come and do anything at the moment. Opportunities, let's do it last because that's the easiest one. Can we go for the threats, Jay, if I'm not mistaken? The threats? Yes, sir. Uh, indirect tax. Can there be indirect tax by the government? Possible or not possible, Jay? Yes or no? Indirect tax on card service. Possible, no, Jay? Because uh, can you remember uh, in most of the countries, GST is applied, right? If I'm not mistaken, Jay. So what happens is when they increase a service tax for these intermediary, uh, the demand will get fluctuated. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I told you this is a service. This is a service, support service. And there are high chances indirect tax can come. That means the food cost plus the delivery cost plus the tax on the delivery can that also play as a major threat, Jay? Yes, high chances. And another point of view of a threat, just to make it very clear for the classroom, one is indirect tax on the card service. And the other threat that we can specifically face in this business is uh, after this threat, it can go ahead with another one. Uh, that is uh, cyber risk. Cyber risk is a threat. It's a direct threat. Anyone can or, or understand it. And data privacy. Correct, Jay? Jay. Because you may have a very good uh, cyber risk, but your data policies may not be very much strong. You get the point what I'm saying, Jay because the consumer's taste and preferences can be also sold to healthcare industry. You get the point. Because a person who consumes burger three times in a week has the potential to get a heart attack. So you can give it to the hospital and he is getting message, take care of your heart. Something happens like that, will that be a problem, Jay? What do you think, practically? Yes, sir. Yeah, right. So just remember that example, students. Uh, supply chain management problem, I can agree with that. Uh, but I'll come to that for the moment. Um, indirect tax, uh, cyber risk, data privacy. And the other one is uh, price reduction. Price reduction by new entrant. Can that play a major role, Jay? Because can you remember when Zomato was dominating the market, when Zomato and Foodpanda was dominating the market, then came Uber Eats, Rex Wiggy, all were there. Uber Eats came, everything changed. Correct? No, Jay. Because in Uber Eats came, prices were very less. Agree? It was somewhere around one rupee or something. Correct? No, Jay. And yes, suddenly everything changed. So price reduction by the new entrant, which is a very, very important thing. Uh, about the international facilitators may enter into the market because there are 43. Yeah. Uh, so I'll write down here, international, international food delivery service can come. What do you think, Jay? because that's a good point. Food delivery service can enter the market, enter the market. High chances, students, uh, it can happen because locally, all these people are local. 
but some international food chain comes, there will be a bigger issue as well. And another issue I can generally say is uh, internet internet uh, availability. What do you think, Jay? Because even in developed countries, there are situation internet is not available in certain environment or certain region. Correct? Because internet is one of the domain factor that is supporting the business. And it's a developed other, country, sir. Developed country, but still in developed country, internet availability is an issue. You understand what I'm saying? Jay? There are situations. Are you clear what I'm saying there? Because there can be, there can be a situation even in developed country. Uh, and then I can write down another thing is uh, shortage, uh, shortage in couriers, shortage in couriers, because that can be an effect also. Uh, what about the fuel price? Uh, Jay, uh, does the fuel price have a direct impact on the food delivery business? Petrol price. Because yes. when the petrol price goes up, students, there is a commodity risk. Because uh, petrol is important in order to supply goods. So fuel price plays a major role there as well. So cyber risk, data privacy. And, and I can write down here, uh, lack of, lack of uh, business updates, lack of business updates. Uh, and new technology emergence. Can there be a new technology emergence like metaverse, something like that for food delivery? Can there be new technology emergence? High chances are there. It can also come into that. And metaverse is an is, opportunity, right? Uh, no, uh, emergence, if we don't follow, you get what I'm saying. And new business ideas emerging because there can be new business ideas emerging like by juice or something like new business ideas no j so they affected the disruption the industry are you clear with that point of view so that's another one changing standard of food and service all those factors are accepted so students now let's go through the opportunities for the moment so the opportunities we generally have at the moment is uh, diversification diversification to other types of food, other types of food services. Now we do not have uh, like example Indian food, okay, J Indian food, Chinese food. Do we have that? No, right? We don't have right. Everything is fast food only. Correct, no J at the moment. So there can be Indian food delivery, fast food, Chinese food. All those factors can come a sub uh, sub type of thing. And another thing I can specifically go is uh, like international expansion can come international expansion international expansion can come into the picture jay can there be a merger can there be a merger between between food delivery apps possible yes, or not possible yes sir highly possible there can be a merger of food delivery app just keep in mind students f3 uh, financial uh, strategy uh, because there is business valuation which we will be doing in detail and then another point of view uh, jay what we can consider after the merger is uh, di uh, backward integration can there be backward integration jay? like example that we take over one restaurant chain possible backward integration take over of a restaurant chain high chances are there just keep in mind all these are point of view to improve the standards and the understanding as well and we can own uh, we can own uh, some cloud kitchens and just let it out yes. for franchises sir franchises correct. we can just let it out correct 100 percent agree we can take out these cloud kitchens that is the dark kitchens and we can just uh, give it as a franchise as well and we can produce basic food items like sandwiches oats everything which doesn't need much of a differentiation like juice uh, all these uh, sweet items basically we can do that and uh, another thing is uh, supply supply other commodities we can do other commodity supply as well other commodities uh, example i can generally say a pharmaceutical possible pharma items vegetables we can do that as well vegetables okay and also if we have excess staffs uh, uh, we can we can we can collaborate with online stores like Amazon. Can we do a collaboration? Uh, possible, possible. In case if we have more laborers who are underutilized, 
that is one more point of view that we can consider at the moment on this opportunity point of view. And another opportunity point of view that we can also consider is uh, taxi services. Can we give taxi services? Like example, Uber initially came with the taxi services and went to the food delivery. But can we give food delivery first and go into taxi services? Possible or not possible? High chances, right? Because when the apps are strong, we can do anything with that data what we have. So students get this point of view very, very well, because these are the basic understanding that you need to keep in mind. And uh, one more thing, Jay, just for your understanding. Uh, now, if you see the business articles they have given, uh, just keep in mind uh, that uh, in this article, I just want to show uh, there are some blogs, uh, blogs given by the courier boys. Uh, one is uh, they are complaining about uh, the munch bike uh, where they are not sometimes getting the deliveries. Sometimes they are not earning any money. You understand what I'm saying. Jay. So there is a problem they are underutilized, especially the independent one the freelancers. And there is another chance as well that you can easily make money also. You understand what I said. Like during a football uh, season, something like that, you can make money as well. They're specifically mentioning and that. And they're just giving an idea about the home delivery service and the potentials of that and the IT infrastructure system of this. Uh, now, one more thing, Jay, can I ask you a question? Uh, now, we have money processing. Generally, the, the payment gateway collects money. Correct, no, Jay? Uh, the, the payment gateway. Thing. So can there be a payment gateway, payment gateway, payment gateway having issues? Can there be a situation the payment gateway having an issue? Possible or not possible? Uh, that, that is also yes, the same factor. So get this understanding very clearly, students. So this is the main thing. But just remember, students, merger acquisition is very, very important. And uh, now, example, the, 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 the food delivery boys are not getting sometimes order. They're idling. It's an ethical issue also. Because Sir, they, even uh, delivery charges also, they're paying same amount. They don't consider the distance, distance amount. Distance, distance as well. Uh, but that is well communicated, if I'm not mistaken. But you are correct also, because if someone gives them based on the distance, it will affect our, uh, I can say, supply of labors. So if you effectively see students, you get the understanding very, very well that we are going in this process very properly and clearly as well. So there can be sometimes bugs in the application. There can be system upgrades which may not be better as expected. So these things are very much essential at the moment. And Jay, one more thing they have not mentioned in this case is, example, a customer orders a food. Okay. Now, there is something called waiting time. You understand what I'm saying, Jay. Yes. The food delivery guy comes, he waits for some time. There can be waiting time as well. So in that waiting time, you just keep in mind that what you need to consider. Example, in that waiting time, what is happening? Are you giving any penalty charges are there for the consumers? You get what I'm saying, Jay. And that is one more major factor. And another thing that I can generally say is uh, road, road safety. What do you think about road safety, Jay? Because uh, you need to supply the goods uh, within one hour, if I'm not mistaken. So the, during the peak hours time, there can be road safety factor as well as a threat, correct? So these are the major, major factors that you need to consider. But just remember one thing, students, in tech sector, one person doing better, other person will struggle. You get the point, right, Jay, if I'm not mistaken? Yes, sir. So students get the understanding. Now see Zoom, Zoom, uh, you have Google Meet, you have so many things. Can you remember, Jay, by any chance an application for Skype? Can you remember Skype, Jay? Yes, sir, but after Zoom pitched in, uh, Skype market has gone. Skype market is no more there, students, because of WhatsApp, uh, Viber, so many things came, IMO, uh, Blotim, so that market went down outside. 
So students, this is the basic idea of this, but I want you to make sure that you are strong with your ratio calculation as well. And remember one thing, uh, now one thing I can generally say, uh, beta is what is the beta students? Industry beta, can someone tell me what is the industry beta? 0 0.7. 0 0.7. Uh, can fluctuate. What do you think, Jay? Yes or no? 0 0.7 beta, 0 0.7 can fluctuate. I'm being very practical here. Tech sector can fluctuate. You understand what I'm saying, Jay? Because 0.7 is somewhat closer to 0 0.1 for one, directly one point. Just three, just three remaining to go to one point. Agree? Yes or no? Yes. So in, in case, in case, in case of a cybersecurity, in case of a new entrant arriving, this can effectively affect the market position as well. So these are the major point of views to be considered. So students, uh, anything that you like to add up, you can add up. So I'll start from Jay. Any questions for the day, Jay? No, sir, no questions. Uh, thank you. Uh, Nelly, any questions for the day? Aviraj, any questions for the day? Yamini, any questions for the day? None, sir. Thank you. Mr. Vikas, any questions? No, Mr. Phil. Thank you. Welcome. Ahina, any questions? No, sir. No question. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so I believe everyone is fine. So students, good luck with your ratios. Uh, get prepared for the Friday class. Let's do the ratios. And on Sunday, let's start doing the strategy canvas and the writing part as well. So thank you very much, students. Uh, good night.